All right, people, welcome back. More Yu-Gi-Oh! 2 Draft League Season 2. So thank you guys for so much support on the first two videos of Season 2. It easily surpassed pretty much anything that's been on the channel as of late and is now the biggest and most popular series on the channel. But you know what? That's to be expected. That's the reason, really, literally the reason why some of you guys even came to the channel. So I just wanted to begin by just saying thank you guys so much. Really appreciate all the support and for the new formatting that we're doing uh, here, which is just watching replays. Because I mean, there's going to be so many. Like I said, there's like just just the beginning of the season. There's like what 120 matches, and we're only on match three, people. So plenty of uh, content. So today we have a really good match for you guys. We have the Yuto Phantom Knights, and that captain is Omega Chaos. I forgot to mention this because I was so excited, but Every single captain who has a YouTube channel, their link is in the description. It's literally like the top link. It's like, like right there. You'll see it. So, Omega Chaos, go over to their channel and check out their content. Great content. Uh, and then we also have another uh, YouTuber that I really enjoy uh, facing, Omega Chaos. Uh, captain of the Yusei Star Dragons Forever Epic. So, link to his channel is in the description as well. So... Uh, we have the Yusei Star Dragons, this is in the regional division, the second lowest, and the Yuto Phantom Knights in the YCS division are the second highest. So we have tier 3 spellbooks. Make Chaos show spellbooks as their tier 3, which is fun. You know, you might get, uh, might, it's a powerful deck in the past. You got all your masters back. There might be some power to get some Ws versus tier 1 Necros. Now, Necros here, uh, this is, I think it's before their previous hit. So I believe there's three Unicorn Three Unicorn, two Brio, and Shriet. I think that think that's what what is here. So uh, I want to see how this goes down. I really do. I said I'm watching it just blind, just like you guys, and I'm just going to be commentating. Uh, so let's hop right into it. So this should be good. So who is going first? All right, looks like Omega Chaos is going first. Plays that blue boy and gets Valor. Like oh my god, that sucks. There's not too many things that you play in spellbooks to get Valor. Blue Boy is definitely one of them. It's just like, you want to get that search, that plus, and then it's like, nah, Valor, how about, how about no? How about no? So, Mid Chaos is just gonna set the Psalm Strike and end their turn. That, that, that hurts, that hurts. Oh, and another Valor too? Alright, alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Nag on the Twin Twister. Uh, not sure if uh, the additional Valor would have been useful, but, yeah, it was probably the most useless out of all the cards right now. Uh, and then there's the powerful, that powerful pre-prep. Um, it's only going to get an even out right now. And you're just going to add a level 7 or lower ritual monster from your deck to your hand. But you don't get that ritual spell back from the graveyard because there's no ritual spells in the graveyard just yet. So, uh, but, I mean, it got uh, Forever Epic set up. Got that Colossus. Colossus, go ahead and search for the Kaleido. Kaleido is going to go ahead and summon the Unicorn, sending the Herald. You guys know these plays. Like, this is just straight up 2015 right here. Like, oh my god. Yep, here we go go so uh instead of exceeding it's just gonna go ahead tack attack and now we have the unicorn oh oh and here we see a now updated play so of course we know unicorn is a level for water and then we have the dance prince level for water so a t deck of 2015 updating to 2016 2017 and we're seeing the totally awesome being played wow wow that, that was a, that was a good play uh, definitely i think a, a play that necros wish they had back in the past you know uh norton was i believe at three back then uh and of course you would summon unicorn often so you know that combination with the bahama shark is totally awesome i think necros would appreciate that so a little bit of blast in the past we updated with the with the present so that, that's that's nice that's nice uh, and it seems like, uh, Mega Chaos is struggling here. Lots of spells for your spell books, but where's, where's the monsters? Where's anything, really? Like, Totally Awesome didn't even need to negate anything, and now, I mean, not since you didn't handle this Bahamut Shark, I'm guessing that the Bahamut Shark's gonna summon another Totally Awesome, so and then you gotta do it. Two of them? Two of them? Alright, so I'm gonna send you, pitch the Rio, get the Unicorn, grab that Colossalus, Colossalus, summon, oh my god, and there it is, the Trish. Uh, and Trish, there's a card on the field. Ah, I mean, Chaos, the other one that put the, the tower there. So there's, there's a card on the field, there's a card in the grave, there is a card in your hand. Therefore, here comes the Necros of Trishula to get rid of it all. Bam, 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 gone. And I think that is game. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, game one goes to Forever Epic, the Yusei Star Dragons. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video how the point system would work. So, uh, if the Yusei Star Dragons win, if Necros wins, that's one point. Uh, but, but, let's say that Omega Cast pulls us back games two and three, and Spellbooks win, that's three points. Three points. 
to the Utah fan tonight. So, you know, uh, I also forgot to mention in the previous videos, but I mean, it's an explanation video. Each deck in the regular season, because there's going to be 15 rounds in the regular season, each deck tier one, two, and three is used five times. So I'm marking it down. They can use the decks in any order they want, as long as each deck is used five times by the end of the regular season before we hop into the playoffs, which is just more content for you guys. But yeah, there we go. That is game one. So let's go ahead and check out game two and if there is a game three. All right, beer. All right, so game two. Let's look at these hands. So, uh, got Jalgen, Masters, but there's not really a good spell book to copy. Life is better in the late game. Like, I, I don't know. This hand doesn't look too hot. Uh, maybe Temperance can go ahead and summon, but you need to activate a spell book. But there's not really anything to activate right now. So this hot, this, this opening hand right here is not looking too hot. This opening hand over here is looking, looking real good. Real good. You got the Kaleido and the Unicorn, so that's already, you know, just summon Unicorn and send the, the Herald and get a Surge. The Fake Veiler, just in case uh, there's another normal summon a Blue Boy Fake Veiler and not get that plus. Uh, you got the Valkyries to go ahead and, uh, you know, block attacks or uh, ritual summon and draw some cards to get deeper in your hand. And you got the Instant Fusion for the Norton play, so I don't know. Just looking at this opening hand, I'm not sure there's going to be a Game 3, people. So let's go ahead and see. So who is going first? It looks like um, looks like Omega Chaos is going first, and literally just summon Jalgen. Summon Dragon. Neither player can special summon, but against this opening hand, that's not too terrible. Now we got to see what the next card drawn is, and of course I send you. Like if it wasn't sending draw, I mean, what would uh what forever have done? Like everything right here is special summon. You're gonna summon the effect veiler, but no. So the top deck of the send you, send you's gonna not only get the normal summon in the search, but then it's gonna, it's gonna run over the Jalgen. And the ball gets rolling. So oh, 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 we're seeing something different here. So uh we're seeing Kaleido actually send um FGD, FGD, five-headed dragon, which is a level 12 to summon both Unicorn and Valkyrie. So that's definitely one of the great plays you can do with Kaleido. So kind of like a two-for-one special right there. Valkyrie can go ahead and tribute to draw. So go ahead and tribute the Ben 10 and the Senju. And I believe the Ben 10 is going to get the search. Yes, and the Ben 10 gets the search. Instant fusion for the rare fish of Hamish Shark. Oh my god. And like I said, a little bit of pass with the present and... There you go, once again, totally awesome. Locking it down. Little did you know that Necros are going to be bringing it back with totally awesome. And the struggle is real. Like, oh my god, I'm making a cast. I am so sorry. You, oh, my luck. It, the opening hand is bad. Like, what is this? Like, draw an into another High Priestess of Prophecy when you can't even special summon her because you don't have three spell books to reveal. Just Masters, which you can't play right now in life, which you can't play. You set the Temperance and pray, and I don't... I don't think this is going to be a game three, people. I think this is just going to be a swift to another unicorn. A swift to a... Now, it's interesting. Unicorn actually locking down the, the totally awesome Bahamut Shark. So, you better hope that this is something that uh, doesn't warrant uh, totally awesome negating. Because the effect's negated. But no, nah, it looks like it, that's it. Yeah, wow. Wow. No, no, not, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. Bahamut Shark is still attacking. That, 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 that That's it, people. That, that, that's game. It's a swift to... Oh, from the Yusei Star Dragon... Uh, Captained by Forever Epic, uh, Tier 1 Necros beats the Tier 3 spell book, so that is 1 point to the Yusei Star Dragon, and sadly 0 points to the Yuto Phantom Knights, but don't worry, there is plenty of time to earn points. Like I said, this is only round 1 out of 15. We have to go through 15 rounds, and there's 8 matches in each round before we even make it to the playoffs, so there is still plenty of opportunity to come back into your division. Like, this, these two aren't even in the same division. In the end, these two facing each other, the only thing is just rewarding points, you know? It's not like they're fighting each other to even make it into the playoffs. They're not even in the same division. So, oh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, it was a swift 2 out, but still just great content. Uh, thank you guys for uh, participating both uh, Mega Chaos and Forever Vic. And thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad you guys are enjoying Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League Season 2. We have a long, long, long time ago. This is going into 2018, people. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications. And, uh, like I said, uh, in the description, you can go to the Discord. There's a community Discord. You can join that and, you know, talk to the captains and join teams and help them out deciding which deck they're going to use for win. And also, you can go ahead and click this, the link in the description to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League official Twitter where we'll be putting out tweets stating when we're going to be doing some of these matches live. Now, right now, it's still kind of quiet, you know. We still have to get accustomed to it. My co-hosts, they're still busy, you know. So for now, this is a format where we're going with, which is, I think, 
fine as well. But once we start getting really into it, especially in the playoffs and the championships and all that, we're definitely going to be, you know, recording this live, definitely going to be having guest commentators, and we're going to possibly be doing some live streams of this. So, you know, just get ready. Just get ready. Get ready, people. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another match. It's going to be Season 2, Round 1, Match 4. And then we're going to be halfway done with Round 1. So, yeah. A lot to go. All right, people. Thanks for watching.